Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about uh, carburetor high altitude uh, tuning. I have uh, two carburetors with me today. I have an Edelbrock 1406 600 CFM carburetor and a Summit Racing 600 CFM carburetor uh, based on the uh, Motocraft 4100 Holly 4010. Uh, these are two completely different carburetors and adjusting these things are completely different. But uh, the main thing is when you're adjusting a carb for high altitude, uh, you need to be aware that there's less oxygen the higher you go. So the higher you go up in the mountains, the less oxygen, oxygen there is. So if you ever see like those hiking movies or videos and they have those oxygen tanks, well, it's the same concept. So the higher you go, the less oxygen you have. So the fact that there's less air or oxygen, that means you need to actually give it, you need to lean at your carburetor. So like say, um, I live down here at the, uh, at a place called Newport Beach, California. That's uh, sea level. And I off-road at a place called Big Bear. And that's uh, pretty high up there. I think it's, uh, uh, I think it's like 10,000 feet. Give me a second here. Big Bear. Altitude. Okay, one second. It's uh, 6,700 feet. Um, so usually when I go up to Big Bear, I usually make my carburetor about two stages leaner, and that usually works pretty good the whole weekend. Um, besides actually making it two stages leaner, uh, an important thing is you need to, I mean, you need to actually put like, a, you need to put a vacuum gauge in your car. Um, and that's definitely a way because that's going to actually, uh, help your, uh, enrichment. So you're under a load enrichment. You actually have to, besides actually making the carburetor two stages leaner, uh, at least for where I go stomping, you need to actually, the step up springs or enrichment system needs to be lighter too because, you know, the higher you go, the lower your elevation or the lower your uh, your vacuum is. So for me, down at the beach, I have about 20 inches of vacuum, but when I go up to Big Bear, it goes down to about 10 to 12 inches. So having my step up springs or primary enrichment you know, going in at, you know, nine inches down at sea level is not going to work when you're, you know, your vacuum is only 10 pounds. That means that, you know, you barely, you know, tip your, your throttle in and then your primary enrichment is, is kicking in. So, you know, you have to change that. So typically, so for me, like when I go up to Big Bear and this thing goes, my vacuum gauge goes down to like 10 inch pounds, I actually would change my uh, Elrock step up spring to, let's say, like five. So typically about half of what your vacuum is is what your step up spring should be. Um, I mean, I prefer Edelbrox for high altitude tuning. I mean, they're one of the simplest carbs to tune. They have, uh, I mean, all you have to do is basically take off these two screws. And so as soon as I get to the mountain, I just take these two screws off and I pop up in the, uh, the little things called, they're called metering rods. And I just quickly put in, a, I already have a set, see this set with the tape on it? Those are my Big Bear uh, metering rods. So as soon as I get up to the mountain, or sometimes I do it at the base of the mountain, I uh, just quickly pull over, pop these up, throw the springs in, or you know, ch I change to a set of yellow springs. Um, and I put my uh, two stage linear uh, metering rods in there. And I'm good to go for the whole weekend. You know, I'm not um, running too rich, not, not too lean. Um, one of the ways I was also, besides just using doing the math with, uh, and also going off Edelbrock's, uh, you know, their manual and what they suggest, I also in my car have a, uh, a wide band O2 sensor. It's uh, called an LC1 from Innovate Motorsports. And uh, this basically tells me for sure exactly what my airflow ratio is. So two, I think this is actually a really critical tool if you want your carburetor to run awesome, is you need a wide band O2 sensor. Um, yeah, a combination of the O2 sensor and a vacuum gauge will make this thing run awesome. So, yeah, what else? 
So idle, you might need to lean out just a little bit. You might have to turn in the uh, the idle mixer screw is about a half turn. Um, but typically, I'm not usually going wide open throttle up in the mountains or at least on the off road trail. So usually, just by leaning out two stages, lowering the primary uh, uh, what the hell is it called the primary uh, enrichment system, lower the actual uh, spring rate or pressure, timer kicks in, and it's uh, that usually works pretty good. Um, let me show you this uh, some carb here. So this is actually a great street carb at, at low altitude, but um, if you take this off-roading, I mean, you have to take half this carburetor part to change the jets and to change the actual. On this car, it has like a, it's like a hull aid, it's, has a power valve on the has a power valve. So yeah, this sucks, man. I mean, if you if you want to make quick changes to your carb, this is this this is definitely not the carb. Um, same thing goes for holly carbs. I hate holly carbs. Um, you got to take the front fuel wall off, you know, change the jets and, and mess around with the the the, the power valve. Um, other good carbs uh, for high altitude are uh, Q Jet, uh, Carter Thermoquad. Um, I haven't tried that new Street Demon yet, um, but it looks like it's based on a ther Thermoquad. So, yeah, I mean that. I mean it definitely has all the potential for a great off-roading carb. You know, the the jets are at the bottom of the bowl, and you actually have the exact same, you know, the the top uh, metering rod that you can pull out and change and change the spring. So. I, I think that actually would, I mean, it looks, it sounds like it would have great potential. Um, so that's about it. I mean, any questions or comments, you know, let me know. Uh, but I also, I'll put another link to it in a video I did. It's uh, how to like, uh, how to off-road mod your, uh, your Edelbrock carb. It's pretty good. And actually, they work really good for me. So go ahead and check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. But uh, that's how I make my uh, car work good when I'm going up high in the, high in the mountains. So, all right, let me know. All right, thanks, bye.